Hey everybody, it's Brad with The Big Family Homestead, and in this video we're going to share with you just a few of the many, many things that make Wisconsin, yes, cool. Now, from the perspective of a homesteader, Wisconsin is a very, very attractive option to set up your homestead. First of all, there's a lot of very, very affordable land that's super, super fertile. The laws here are very favorable to those who are in the agricultural or self-reliant kind of lifestyles. And the people, well, the people have just been pretty darn awesome. Did you know that even though Minnesota is known as the land of 10,000 lakes, Wisconsin trumps them by a bunch. That's right, Wisconsin boasts over 16,000 and change lakes. Pretty cool. Now, another cool thing about Wisconsin are these massive farm stores they have here. Mills Fleet Farm or Mills Farm and Fleet, depending on where you live in the state. And they're massive. Right, and their advertisements a long time ago used to be from tractors to tampons. They got everything. This place is insanely large. This is honestly probably a good, would you say eight football fields big? Yeah. Huge. And this store is smaller than the one in Wausau. Huge. Packers, 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 Packers everywhere. Packers, 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 Packers. Oh wait. I think they have grilling devices for Packers stuff. More, 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 more. They love their Packers. You gotta get them young. I drool green and gold. Mm -hmm. Booyah. Now this is more my speed. Packers. <laughs> what do you think? Is it me? Oh yeah, baby. Now this could certainly come in handy. They even have Packers chunky chicken noodle soup. Mmm, darn good meal. a nice pink extension cord. Yummy. That's what I call a teddy bear. Mm-hmm. And of course, it wouldn't be Wisconsin without a wide, wide range of firearms. Mm -hmm. And of course, you've got your decorative bird feeders. The birds get really, really picky this time of year. If you, they don't, if you don't give them some snowmen and Christmas trees, they just don't like to show up. And of course, they have a forest of fishing poles. That's awesome. Did you know that even though Germany is credited with the creation, the origination, the gift of the bratwurst to the world, uh, Wisconsin hosts the biggest bratfest in the world. As a matter of fact, last year alone, they sold almost 161,000 brats at the, at the festival. That's, that's a lot of mustard, man. Okay, another distinctly Wisconsin thing. Well, this could be more of all around the country thing, but it seems like every town, even the tiniest, tiniest little towns, they all have some kind of memorial tank from World War II. These guys have one. These guys have one. And another. And another. One more. These poor guys got stuck with a lousy cannon. Huh. They all have some kind of memorial tank from World War II, a memory thing, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's awesome. However, um, well, this particular one's very interesting. This one just so happens to be stuck sandwiched between two buildings. So you gotta wonder, did the tank get there first or the buildings? Wisconsin, specifically Mount Oreb, is actually the troll capital of the world. Now, I find that one a little bit interesting. I always thought that was a Nordic thing, but well, who knew? Did you know that for folks who are actually moving to the state of Wisconsin, before you actually get through the state checkpoint, the officials actually check you for beers, 
cheeses, and sausages. And if you do not have the correct amount, you are issued state issued beers, cheeses, and sausages. Uh, that one's not true. Now, most people know that Wisconsin is known as a very dairy state. Lots of milk, lots of cheese, a lot of all kinds of yumminess, you know, custards and ice creams and all that great stuff. But not a lot of people know about the, the mighty cheese curd. Cheese curds are delightful. They're an essential part of the cheese making process and they are uh, skimmed off as they are in little chunks before cheeses like cheddar are pressed and smashed and, and formed into blocks or wheels. But these guys are delightful and they kind of squeak when you, when you chew on them. So that's, that's just plain fun right there. So for these reasons and many, many more, we salute you, Wisconsin. You rock. I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead, and you guys have an amazing day.